<laughs> so Rob, how long have you been doing McDojo? Uh, like over ten years now. Oh, so ten over a decade. fucking years. Yeah. Oh, this is a decade of calling out fakes, frauds, phonies, con men, pedophiles, sex offenders. What started it? What was, what was your first video? Oh, uh, the first one, I think, was just like a long-form essay on Facebook. But, like, the first one that, like, really took off was with this guy. His name was Chris Zelensky, Jesus. which sounds like that fucking Rick Moranis character or whatever. Yeah, so uh, it sounds but... like the president from fucking Ukraine. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 like, this, this dude was talking shit, so I was, like, teaching jiu-jitsu at the time. Okay. And I put out this form, and on the form, it was for a, a self-defense class for women. And it was just a women's self-defense class, intro class, just to get people in the door. And some random dude that used to date a friend of mine went on that, because it's like my personal Facebook when I had one. And he starts talking shit to, like, all the women who are, like, out, uh, c- trying to come to this event. <laughs> okay. And I was like, you motherfucker. Like, first of all, like... That's an asshole thing to do because, like, you dated a friend of mine, so, like, we're acquaintances. And second of all, like, that's my paycheck, bitch. Like, <laughs> like this is what I do for a living. So he's on there talking shit. He's like, no woman could ever beat a man no matter how much training you have. Uh, I'm like, have you met Gabby Garcia? Those types, yeah. You met Gabby those Garcia? Types. Like, this bitch, like, 300-something pounds. Yeah, eating six, steroids, six. lifting buses and shit. <laughs> so, like, I, uh... You, Big Brazilian. <laughs> oh, yeah, Poha and the Carayos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But so, like, I, I, I sent him a message. I was like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, this is my job, man. He was like, well, I believe that no woman could ever beat a man no matter how much they train. I'm like, you're fucking wrong. I was like, put your money where your mouth is. I could find someone to beat the shit out of you. And he was like, okay, bet. I bet you can find no one. So he didn't know I ran McDojo Life. And at that time, I never put my face on it. So like it was just like an anonymous page. So I was like, "Fuck that! Let's make this happen." So I put out. Uh, how many How many followers did you have at this point? Oh shit! Probably like ten thousand. Okay, so and you only were on Facebook. So you were still. I mean, yeah. it was still fairly popular. Yeah, it but was, it was it still was doing, growing. Yeah, it was like a niche okay. thing. It right, still right, kind of right. is, I guess. But like this, I put out like a hit. Basically, I was a like two grand. Hit list. <laughs> I was like two grand to anybody who wants to spar this dude. I'll give two grand to any female, and I laid out the stipulations and all the bullshit that he said. And so I had people all over the world chiming in it really? was wild there were people sending me messages and languages i can't fucking read i had to google <laughs> translate trying to figure out how much they hate this dude so eventually i did make it happen who did you get uh we originally got a uh, amateur i forget her name she was 14 and 0 as an amateur okay and i was like she american was, she was american yes. she was american and i was like she's gonna beat the shit out of this man um and then we got about three weeks from the event about three weeks by this time the shit has, like, blown up. It's, okay. like, one of the most popular posts on Reddit. Like, people are writing about it and, like... Uh, Fucking, again, it's WrestleMania. Dude, yeah. it's a, it was a big <laughs> deal because it was a chick versus a dude. Yeah, right? it has energy behind it. Oh, yeah, 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 man. So it's got momentum, and then all of a sudden, the venue tries to pull out. And I was like, you motherfuckers, like, why are you trying to do this to me right now? So I finally managed to get around that. And then it was, like, a day after that, the fighter pulls out. I'm like... Oh, my God. Your like fighter? It. Yeah, she pulls oh. up. And I'm like, what the fuck? So, like, I find another one. And it, it, I had two choices. It was Tara La Rosa, um, who was, like, an MMA legend before female MMA blew up. And this other chick, I don't remember her name. And we decided to go with the other chick because she was a little younger. She was an active fighter, but she was still amateur. And okay. that was kind of the point. I didn't want a pro. I wanted to prove <clears throat> that any female who just casually fucking trains yeah. could could beat an untrained guy. man. Not beat a man, but an untrained man. Right. Because it's about the technique and that it actually applies. So I had to find somebody his size, weight, all that shit. So she had a fight the week before. And I was like, all right, so are you going to win? <laughs> She's like, absolutely. She goes, even if I lose, the worst thing I've ever had in a fight was like a broken finger or something. She's like, I've never had any major injuries. The day of that fight, I get a text message. She's like, I lost. And I was like, how bad is it? And she showed me a picture of her, and it looked like she was beaten by a group of oh, people shit. with two by fours. Damn it, dude. I was like, what the actual <laughs> fuck is going on right now? So I was like, all right, well, fuck it. I'm going to throw out the day before Tara La Rosa. And I'm like, this lady's a legend, but she hasn't been training in forever. She's yeah. out of shape, but fuck it. I'm pretty sure she can still beat his ass. I hope so let's she make showed it up happen. with the fucking, with that, uh, that cooking thing. Oh, just the apron? The apron. <laughs> I hope she just walked in with that fucking apron with flip-flops. So like, all right, yeah, go, let's go. All right, let's do this. All right. So we wind up finally making it happen. The day of the event, I'm like, all right, everything's – we got past all the hard shit, right? Two fighters pulled out, a venue change. I'm past it. 
I go to log on to Facebook. I got a suspension for seven days on Facebook, which is where we were supposed to go live and show the fight. Um, I got a suspension for seven days. Like, what? what'd what you do? F- you curse or something? Well, well, like, it was a copyright thing. Oh. Yeah, so Music I was like, stuff. all right. Well, luckily, when you make a Facebook, um, like, what do you call it? Like an event? Mm-hmm. Like, you don't have to be the person uh, who made it to, like, post. Anybody okay. could post on it. So I was like, fuck it. I just made another account. And I was like, all right, we're still back in business. I can still go live. So the day of, right, now I go to the venue. And I show up, and I'm setting up all the lights and the camera equipment and all that shit, right? And the owner's wife walks in. She goes, you got to leave. I was like, we literally are about to go live in like two hours. Why would I leave right now? She goes, I don't know. My husband just told me you need to leave. You need to leave. I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, he can come down here, and he can pull me out. But I was like, I'm not fucking leaving. I've had so much bullshit to make this happen. I'm not leaving. Next thing I know, a cop walks in right behind me. (laughs) Jeez. And the cops like, "Hey, what's going on?" I was like, "Uh oh." <laughs> what state is this in? The Florida. Oh, it's in it's Florida, in Orlando at the time. Oh shit! So the cop walks in. I'm like, "Uh oh." I don't have a lawyer with me, so he goes, "What? What's going on?" I'm like, "Well, they're about to be sparring." <laughs> he was like, "Are they sparring?" I was like, "Yeah, they're sparring." Is money changing hands? And in my head, I'm like, "Damn, <laughs> he's got me." Like, but we, what we did was we hired her for a seminar. Ah, so we hired her for a seminar and that was what she was getting paid for the seminar. Right. And I paid for his gas for him to get to the seminar. And then he was going to be taking the seminar and they just happened to be sparring. Uh, Sure. (laughs) Good. Well, apparently apparently the state athletic commission didn't agree. (laughs) So, Uh. So they had like sent this dude and they were like, all right, the moment they touch gloves, you're going to jail. And I was like, fuck. Jeez. I was like, all right, well, I don't really want to go to jail, but. I was like, all right. So I had to, she showed up, he showed up. So both people showed up. Uh They were ready to go. And I had to go live to like, I I think at least 15,000 people that tuned in to watch this fucking thing. And I had to tell all 15,000 of these people like, hey, I'm sorry. It's not going to happen today. And I'm just getting roasted online. They're like, we knew it was never going to happen. You set us up, like blah, blah, blah. And we did do a little crowdfunding for this thing. And so it's like people like, I feel like I'm ripped off. I'm like, no, fuck you. Still going to happen. I just have to do it differently because we were going to do it live. So next, I drank and smoked myself to, to sleep that night. I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. So then the next day I was like, do y'all still want to fight? They were like, absolutely. I was like, really? Well, that's intriguing. We can make that shit happen. So we went to an undisclosed location and they did go at it. And she beat his ass twice. Nice. Twice she beat his ass because he tapped a cardio. He had all this bravado beforehand. Hey, I'm going to beat her ass because I'm a man and I have better cardio. I'm in better shape. And he was in better shape, kind of. Like, but this lady who apparently did not, she told me she did not train for this shit. Still fucked him up. Uh, she tapped him to cardio. She got him into side control and just like laid on him. I was gonna say, what do you? Yeah, okay, yeah, he was just then, like, he is I'm so tired. That's yeah. exactly yeah. how. Fuck, it went. fuck, I'm so. <laughs> like, I can't breathe. I'm like, you bitch. Like all that shit you were talking, <laughs> and you tapped a cardio. So like, I shut the camera off. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, there's no fucking way I'm letting you stop right now. He's like, I can't breathe. I'm gonna throw up. I'm like, bitch, go throw up. Come back. You're gonna do another round. I don't give a shit. Like. This isn't like a sanctioned bout. How much did this like, guy weigh? Uh, did yeah, you, same did, as her. Same, same as, as her. I think they were both like 165, 170. Okay. Okay. So, hey, that's a big broad. <laughs> she's strong. She like, of course, she was out. She was out of like shape too. Like she wasn't like training. So she winds up going at it again. Fresh off maternity. <laughs> yeah. She like yokes yeah. his ass up and then gets him in an arm bar. And then that was it. Like yeah. she officially submitted him. Because I was like, I'm not going to let you tap the cardio. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. Listen, I kind of get it, though. <laughs> like, tapping the cardio? Oh, my God, bro. When you have someone just laying on you, you're like, ah, you know what? We're done. <laughs> you just smush me to the floor. <laughs> so that that one event is what kind of like pushed it. That was into- a big, big push because that yeah. was a big deal on Reddit at the time.